Hi guys, this is Karan from Go Mechanic. Everyone talks about turbo, big turbo, twin turbo, sequential turbo. They all mean power and speed. But very few people know how they actually work. To understand turbos, you need to understand the basics of how an engine works. Think of an engine like a massive pump. It sucks in air and fuel into a cylinder, compresses and combusts it and pumps out all the goodies that take your breath away. To get more power from an engine, we need to burn more fuel quickly. Getting more fuel is usually as simple as turning the tap on. But unless there is also more air, that extra fuel is useless. A cylinder is limited in how much air it can breathe by its size or displacement. Historically, when engine makers wanted more air to burn with their fuel, they just made giant cylinders. There was no replacement for displacement. This often made engine heavier, larger and slower to rev. However, in 1905, a scientist named Alfred Biuji came up with replacement for displacement when he used the exhaust gases of an engine to power a compressor that fed denser air into the combustion chamber. More air meant more fuel could burn, which meant a bigger boom. The aeronautical industry quickly adopted this and gradually everything trickled down to the automotive industry. As your engine expels hot gases, they enter into a turbo. The hot air gets piped over a turbine and spins it. Now we are done with the exhaust gases. It gets shot back out of your car. The turbine is connected to an impeller on the other side of the turbo and spins it too. As it spins, it sucks in a large amount of air and pushes it into your intake manifold. The air is now denser, has more oxygen, can burn more fuel quickly, giving you more power. To keep the charged air going back into the turbo, when you lift off the throttle, a blow-up wall relieves this pressure by letting the air go back into the atmosphere. That's why you get that cool sound. <laughs> Turbocharging creates a lot of heat. The turbine side constantly has blazing exhaust gases passing through it, making it burn red hot. You may have noticed that many of them turn brown after a certain period of time. Referred to as the hot side of the turbo, it often looks rusty. That's because the extreme heat acts as a catalyst, causing the metal to oxidize more quickly. When you compress the air, you push the molecules closer together, which creates friction. They all rub against each other. These hot energized molecules move around everywhere, increasing air speed, making them lose their density. The whole point of force induction is to get denser air right. Well, if we cool off this turbocharged air, the molecule will cool down, sit closer together and become even denser. There are few ways to do this. The most popular and straightforward way is with an intercooler which sits between your turbo and intake manifold. The air passes through channel with cooling fins and the cool air from the outside passes over the fins, absorbs the heat and reduces the temperature. The mini radiator kind of a thing in front of the actual radiator is an intercooler. So if you want more power, why not just get the biggest turbo you can find? Well, it's not that easy. If the turbo is too big, it takes long time for the exhaust gases to get it spinning fast enough to compress the air. The time taken between hitting the accelerator pedal and feeling the boost is called the turbo lag. Engineers solve this problem by using two smaller turbos rather than using a larger one. You can read about various kinds of turbos on our Go Mechanic blog. The link is in the description. Just like me, turbocharging is the perfect example of performance technology trickling down to the rest of the market. The most obvious benefit of a turbocharger is it increases power, especially low end torque. Second to that, it also improves fuel economy. So if your goal is 300 horsepower with a 2 liter engine, 
adding a turbo charger will make you achieve that figure far more easier just like any technology there are pros and cons but with turbo charging the benefits far more outweighs the drawbacks the more subscriber we get the more cool stuff we make so don't forget to click on that subscribe button and smash the bell icon this is your turbo boy karan goodbye and happy motoring